is Chloe Demir of Save the Victor Roll. How's everybody doing today? Amazing, I hope. It is another video from your older than average YouTuber here on the YouTubes. And today we will be playing with the Betty Boop collection from Glamlight. So if you wanna see what is in the box um, and the look that we created, you're in the right place. And you know what you need to do? You need to keep on watching. It's finally here. So excited we have our Glam Light and the Betty Boop collection. It was supposed to come yesterday and we tried to deliver, even though I was sitting by the phone, they were too lazy to check the buzzer number. DHL and I have a long history of dislike. Alrighty, so let's see what we have in our box here. All I did was open up the tape, that's it. I've looked at nothing. I think I remember what's all supposed to be in here, but we will figure it out. So we're gonna open this up. So I ordered, so there was two different collection ones. There was the PR collection that came with a fancy box. And then there was the regular, the regular full collection that didn't have the PR box. And it was just a few dollars different. So I thought, let's go for it. Let's get the PR box. I did get a little bit of duty, but it wasn't as bad as I thought. So normally, um, again, I think DHL's fees are really high, but it actually came in about half of what I thought it was gonna be. So for that, that's a win. And I think it includes everything but of in the collection, but the bag itself. I did want the bag, but again, I'm trying to only do one release per quarter. And it wasn't really part, it was part of the release, but not part of the PR package. So that may be another time if, it, if they still have some and it goes on sale, maybe then I'll pick it up. It is gorgeous though. But, so we've got a little bit of plastic here and then, ooh. Alrighty, so I will just quickly show it like this, because I will have to make make a pit stop to take away the plastic. But, uh, ooh, this is so exciting. Alrighty, so here it is, the Glam Light Betty Boop collection. We've got the electric package on the box sometimes like when I got the, the ghost face one and it came in a box which had was nice like it said ghost face and I managed just to pull a lot of the stickers off so I can keep it but it's nice that they just didn't slap like an address on here that this actually went into a box so that way you can keep this as a collectible and then in the back We've got this, so just the regular, but then you've got her full body shot there. And then let's see how it's, oh, let's look at the whole thing. And then we've got to there, so this is the, oh, it's magnetic, excellent. So I thought kind of like the uh, ones from, so from like the unearthly mystery boxes. So this is the first one I've ever got from Glam Light that was a full, the PR package. So there we go. So this looks super nice. So let's open it up. Oh, awesome. So I will just take this plastic off here for a sec and then we are going to go look in side so there we go there she is in all her glamour they made it look like it was like a hollywood mirror with the lights on it and there we go and then everything is in here and then it looks like the things that needed extra packaging like palettes have extra bubble wrap so let's look into this whole thing see if i can do room here without destroying everything Alrighty. so first i'm just going to grab the first thing here and this is the betty boop blush duo let me get a weapon so we can look inside so i've got my little letter opener here and then we can take a look at this and then maybe i should put glasses on too so that way we can read the things. So again, this is the Betty Boop blush duo. So we've got the window that opens there so you can look into the packaging. And then this one, does it, it doesn't do a lecticular motion, but it does have that, that feel on there. And then let's open her up. Oh, it's got a cute mirror. And then that is the color story there. They're very similar, but not an exact match so you get a uh a more pinkier one and this one is um it looks way pinker um on camera but here it's 
it's dusty. Yeah, so it's like a dusty pink and then a more brighter pink. But when we go to use it, then we will swatch them then. And then we've got her face here on there, as you can see, and then some hearts. So we have the blush palette. So there we go. The only other reason why I was thinking would be nice to get the bag so you can keep the collection together. But then when you get the PR box, you have the box to keep the whole collection together. So we are good there. So we've got the blush. And then let's get the next thing that's on top here. This is the Bring on the Boop Lip Kit. And one second. All right, so there it is. Oh, this is quite nice and fancy as well. Look at this. It has the same thing like the PR box where it has like a little magnet and then you can open it up and then you've got the lip kit like that. Oh, that's amazing. You definitely, um, a lot of times I don't keep the outer packaging, but I think for this collection, you definitely want to keep it all. So we've got the lip pencil and then we do have the lip stick. I'm going to see if I can get to this out. It is in here a little firmly little firmly. So uh, there we go. Oh, and it's heart shaped. There is Betty there. Um, I heard some people saying that they thought that this looked a little cheap. It actually feels quite nice. It is plastic, of course, but it doesn't feel like wimpy or anything. And then we've got the beautiful lipstick here with um, hearts on it. And then we've got the B for Betty on the outside. So I think, does it have a smell? No. So I think this is nice. I mean, it would have been nice maybe having a, uh, maybe, I don't know, like a black component maybe, but I think this is really cute. And then of course we have the matching lip pencil. And then that's a really cute there. And then we have the pencil there and it looks like it is, yes, it's a sharpenable one. So there we go. So we've got the blush set and the lip kit in here. And this will be the palette. And then we've got it in a little TV case. Um, again, um, Glam Light, Betty Boop, Boop, Oop, A Doop, <laughs> 15 color palette. And then look at that. So that is really cool. There we go again. So you've got that fun packaging there. And then another photo on the back there. And of course, all your information like ingredients. And then, woohoo, excellent. It's in perfect shape. We've got ourselves a mirror. There is Betty Glam Light. And here is the color story. Oh, this is very pretty. This is very Betty Boop. It's very Valentine's -y Day. It's really, oh, I really like this. I don't think I have a color story quite like this. This is great. And then they have all um, names like Boop Love, Power and Pearls, Irresistible, Major Sass, I'm a Boop. So that's really cute. So there is our palette. And again, in our beautiful little TV box. And then when you have the, the thing on there, it looks like kind of like you're watching TV. That is really cute too. All right, what else? Okay, so the next up here, this is the Boop Lashes. All right, here are the Boop Lashes. The, oh, packaging is so nice. I don't know, yeah, almost don't. I don't think I'm gonna use them for this look. I think I wanna keep them. Oh, they're really soft. Really, really soft. Oh, these are really beautiful. I will probably keep them more for a special occasion. And then it has a little ribbon, so you can just pull it out and then you can restore it or just keep the box and put some other little bits in here. I do have some a little bit of Betty Boop jewelry, so that might be something that could go cute in there. So there's lashes. Let's see what else we've got in here. Is there not a highlighter? All right. So here we've got the Boopalicious Betty Boop Full Volume Mascara. So there we go. This is so cute. I've not tried a mascara from them. I'm, I'm not sure if they've had one before or if it's just they carry it with certain collections. Oh, this is a fun shape. There we go. We've got the Boopalicious Full Volume Mascara. That is really cute. Let's see what kind of wand is on there. Oh, I like those kind of wands. Excellent. Ah, it doesn't smell as bad as some mascaras do. Nice. And then I could have swore I thought I 
there was supposed to be highlighter. Maybe there wasn't. Alrighty, and then, oh yeah, last in the collection here is kind of the thing that I think a lot of us were very excited for. This is the Betty Boop Mirror. Ooh, so cute. Apparently they've got special tech, oh, there's the back. They've got some special kind of a laser cutting special technology to make these uh, mirrors. shiny one. Oh, there we go. Little feet and then just go like so. And then we've got Betty Boops there. Yeah, you can see your whole face in it. So nice and clean. It won't last long with me. And there we go. So that is what is in our collection box. And uh, let's do a look. Alrighty. All right, so now we're back to do a look. I didn't plan anything, so we're just going to have fun. I know you're thinking, when do I plan anything? I know, I know, I know. Alrighty, so now we get to play with our Betty Boot mirror first. I'm just using a little bit of the Gerard Cosmetics eye primer here. If you hear any crunching, I have a house guest. That is Mr. Pascal. Um, the person that was supposed to watch him watched him for, I think, almost the first week and then something happened and she could no longer watch him anymore. And uh, so I couldn't the first couple of days after that. So another friend of ours took took him for a day and a half and then I got to and then I get him for um, just under a week. He's a very good boy. But I wasn't going to get much filming done, so I gave him something to crunch. So he may be crunching his little own oh, raw hidey thingy <laughs> that dogs have. So there we go. All right, so we are primed. We are going to be playing with the, the Betty a Boop and Glam Light palette. I guess the Boop Boop a Doop. <laughs> yeah, Boop Boop a Doop 15 color palette. And then. Uh, let's take our little plastic out and then we've got this gorgeous color story here. So I'm going to, do I still have my glasses here? They always seem to go, yes. So I thought maybe what we can do is take a quick look at some of the colors here and decide what we want to do. So again, 15 shades. So the first shade up top here is pudgy and it is this very nice shimmery toppery shade there. Ooh, that is a very beautiful. The next shape is a shade is boop love. So there we've got this nice um, dusty purple. Um, then we've got ooh la la, which is this purpley shade here. Oh, I think my lighting might be a little bit bright. So if can't quite see, I apologize. So there we go, you can see it there. They've got little things like there's a B, there's a heart on this one, this one had a star. The next shade that's called Icon has a heart and this is kind of a purpley shade here, like so. And again, you know, my swatches are never the best, but it just gives you an idea. And this is XOXO. It has a down arrow in it. Ooh, that's really pretty. Ooh, ooh. Then the next one is classy. I guess you can call it classy chick or classy chic. So it depends on how you are pronouncing it. Ooh, that is really pretty. Ooh, the shimmers in here are lovely. Next is power and pearls. And this is a beautiful gray silver, but it looks like it has a little purple in it as well. Nice. Then we've got, of course, you have to have a red in here. This is I am a boop. Ooh, that is really nice. There we go. And then we have a lucky goyle. And that one has a like a heart with um, like sunbeams kind of on it. Ooh, well, the swatches are gonna get a bit better. There we go. And then we have boop a doop. Boop, oop, a doop. Yeah, there we go. This has that same, oh, 
that kind of heart pattern. So there's a few duplicating patterns in it, they seem to. But that is fine. Ooh, that one's really pretty. So that was that one there. And then we're gonna go here. This is a Wink and Giggle. And uh, do, 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 wink and giggle, neutrally shade there. And then we have Irresistible. Well, and then we've got the next one I'm really excited about. Um, irresistible, like so. And then this is the shade Major Sass. This looks like it's a pink to red. Major, oops, Major Sass. Oh, we're using that today. Hell yeah. Then we've got She's a Star. Here, and then one more, of course we have to have a black, and of course it is the little black dress. Oh, let's just pop it right there. There is the black. So I just want to quickly, the, what's it? The one, two, yeah, the third shade, that purple one, I didn't give it the, its best life there. So let's just, there we go. Woohoo, those look great. So I definitely want to use, I think I went a little bit hard on Major Sass there. All right, so I definitely want to use that, the, you know, this Major Sass shade. So I think what we're going to start with, all right, so what we're going to start with is we're going to take a Boop Love, and that is this shade right here. And that's what we're going to kind of use as like a blending shade along the top here. We're going to take a nice a fluffy brush and then we're going to go in here. So this is the second shade in the top row. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, this is a really nice color story. I like it. Even with my crappy swatches, it looks good. Yeah, I usually let other people do the swatching because they're way better at it. I do have um, stencils, but I always keep forgetting that I have them until after. Of course, our beautiful mirror. I guess we should show this a little bit in between. And then I'll try and do something with my hair. Because it came late, I had the curlers in for pretty long, but then I couldn't take it this morning, so I took them out and just wrapped my hair. So I think they still got a little wonky. So we will see what I can fix after. I think I brushed them a little bit too hard to keep them higher. To make a nice smooth look, they need to be brushed way more, but I was trying to do kind of a more curly look, but we'll see what we end up with after. What I might do is when I've done my base and I come back to blush and lips. And then for highlighter, I grabbed a couple. I, ha I grabbed the one from the Ghost Face and I grabbed the Face Trio that I have from the Garfield collection. So we can, thought we could look, look at those all th those shimmer or shimmers, those highlighters and see if there's anything that we really like. Yeah, that's the only thing I was surprised there wasn't in, but I guess it went in 19... 20s and 30s, I think even into the 1940s, when you used highlighter, it was usually basically just a white, um, like white shadow, I think on the high point, something like that. Alrighty, that is a really pretty color. That's just a nice blending shade there. So then what I want to do for the outer edge, I want to use the shade that is, is that Rising Star? She's a star, sorry. She was a star, not a rising star. So we're gonna use that shade there and I'm going to use that for the outer edge. I think I'm going to do a rounded look today. That one, yeah. Okay, so then this is a She's a star. This one has a little bit of kick up. There wasn't really any in the first shade, but there's a little bit in this one. But then this is a little bit uh, more intense. Uh, I don't think I'm going to use a black today. If I use the black, then I might do it just for a little bit of smudge in the eye line. And then I was thinking maybe the, the bright, um, the light toppery shade here, we can maybe use that in the inner corner. Actually, that would also make a good highlighter too, I think. Do I want something in the 
want it. Yeah, I'm gonna play with a few different colors. So I'm gonna go now in to I'm a Boop. So that is that red shade there. And I think I'm going to use that one for like at the front and the middle to be kind of the base for the um, major star shade. So let me grab another little brush here. And let's do that. Beautiful red shade. Okay, so I'm just gonna take the first brush that I used, that I used the um, really, um, the blending shade that was Boop Love. I'm just going to clean that off and then I'm just going to blend this out without some extra color here. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back into the shade She's a Star. I'm just gonna add a little bit more on the outer edge. Just build this up just a little bit. So I don't know what I want to do for bottom lash line. If I want to stick to that. Yeah, I might do it. I don't think I want to add too many colors. I do want to play with a few colors, but I don't want to add too many. I just really want to showcase this. Um... Okay, there we go. And then, uh, I'll just use this other side here because this is a two-sided brush. I'm gonna go back into Boop Love. Maybe a smidge, smidge, smidge more. Maybe a smidge, smidge more. Alrighty, so now we want to go into the, All right, so we're gonna go now into the shade that's called a major sass. I'm going to, I've got a little bit of my aggressive spray. I definitely think it's going to need a little bit of the flangey treatment. I think. Yeah, that's really, really pretty. All right, so take the flangey. Yeah, there we go. Mm, okay. So I do want, I am going to do what I was thinking that I might do. I was gonna like, if I add a little black, I'm just gonna add it kind of like, on the lash line so I think I'm going to grab a little brush here a little C color brush it is very 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 small so we can take a little bit of a little black dress if you're wondering where the cats are they're just I can separate my house so they have the cat super highway so that's the little the room that they have that has um, window um things that they can jump on to look out the window um they've got their you know their um, litter boxes in there and then they've got my bedroom so they've been spending a lot of time there anyways sleeping abby really likes it to sleep in front of the heater because it helps her old bones because her um, spine is a bit fused and then missy just likes sleeping in one in the cat house it's kind of a cat bed. I call it the cat house on my bed. So they're okay. And then I just go and I peek in and spend some time with them. And then when I put after our last walk, uh, Pascal goes to bed and then I can go and spend a little more extra time with the girls. There we go. Just to add a little Again, for my, we are going to be playing with a mascara, but even with a really good mascara, I don't have a lot of lashes. So the little black on the waterline is really helpful. And just anchors a really red look, I think, a little bit. And this is such a nice black. I don't think I'm getting any fallout, which is nice. I had contemplated, should I do my base first? But... but Every once in a while you do that and then it's chaos and then you regret doing it. So I thought this would be a little easier. So there we go. 
And then for inner corner, yeah, we were talking that we wanted to use the first shade that's called a pudgy. So I think that's what we're going to do. So that was the super kind of like holographic -y topper type shade. So I think that would look really nice in the inner corner. Yeah, that's really pretty. Definitely we'll do another look. I'll do a round two with this palette and well, this collection. But I thought we'd just do a quick look. Quick look at it, quick look. And then we can do something a little bit more wild maybe later using tape and making some shapes and stuff. But it's gonna be a little bit fun today. Okay. And easy going. So there we go. We've got an eye look happening there. So we um, started with um, a boop love for, for blending and um, setting our primer. And then on the outer edge, we used a She's a Star. Then we used I'm a Boop. And then of course we did um, a major sass for the main shimmer and then we've got pudgy for the inner corner so we did use a few shades oh and then we use a little black as a bit of a liner for a smoky look okay so i'm going to go do my base and then we can play with the rest of the products hello we're back to do with the rest of the makeup thought i would show you i've got a betty boop watch i have my little betty boop pin and I have some earrings too. And then my car mats <laughs> in my car and on my steering wheel are also Betty Boo. So I am a fan. So I just quickly did up my hair, put on my face, and now we're ready to play with the rest of the products here. Got one little curl here running amok, but that's okay. So what are we going to do first? Let's play with the mascara, see how this works. So I do, again, all this packaging is great. It's got one of those fun brush, brushes that has the um, going out into a fluffier end. Hey, this is not too bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. Goes on nicely. I think I would definitely use my Zizi one with the really teeny weeny brush to like spread out my lashes and then I would definitely use this to thicken them out and then maybe kind of curl them up a little. Hmm, not bad. Again, it's always hard to tell because I don't have a lot of lashes, but from looking close up in the mirror, that's not too bad. We'll have to play with that some more. Okay, before we do lips, let's play with blush and then we will look, oh, I, let me grab them, a couple highlighters. So for highlighters, we have the Ghost Face, um, the icon of Halloween. So it was these two here. So you've got a lightish gold one and then, ooh, blinding people, and a white. And then I also have a from the Garfield collection. This is a triple face. So you got two blushes and a highlighter. This one is very gold. So first I was thinking about this one, but I'm thinking because we have the light inner corner, I think we're going to end up using the lightest one from the ghost face. I think that's what we're going to do. So let's play with this blush duo here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with um, the more neutral one, I'm going to do that a little bit higher up and then we will dip into the brighter one to have a little bit on our cheeks. We're going to use our current favorite brush, which is from the Dose of Colors. So again, they, I don't know if they have separate names for the inside, but uh, what is, oh, there is some verbiage on here. So it says here, achieve a rosy glow with our Betty Boop Feisty and Bold Blush. This deep pinky red powder blush comes with Betty's iconic face stamped on the pen and this packaging features a heart shape cut out for a fun and floaty touch. All right, so again, we are going to take the, what did I say I was gonna do? Oh yeah, I was gonna take the more neutrally one, the one with Betty's face. 
And we're gonna do that a little bit going back. Like this this um, brush just grabs always the perfect amount and disperses it so nicely. I really, really like this brush so much. I'm tempted at some point when I'm back to buying more things, if I could order a couple of these, I probably would. Gosh, I haven't done my hair like this in forever. Alrighty. All right, that's such a pretty pink. That's definitely one good for every day and it gives that nice flush of color. So now we are going to just pat that off here and then we are going to dip into the brighter shade of the two. Again, that's the one that has the heart imprints and let's do that one a little bit more on the front of our cheeks. And this one is definitely a little bit more brighter. So we can give a nice blend because I think that is enough color on there. I do like a blushy look. And that's very more of that um, back in the day. You definitely had more of a blush. Like now we do a lot more up this way. We don't do as much with on our actual apples of our cheeks, but I like my blush there. So, and then every once in a while I do just like doing it the more modern way, but I definitely like that a lot. Okay. And then for highlighter, like I said, we decided we were going to go with the ghost face so i'm going to use my other new favorite <laughs> this is um competition to my kaleidos highlighter blushes and we are going to use the light one here from the ghost face i thought we we're going to stick to our glam light we'll do that they do have beautiful highlighters and then i just had one more thing i wanted to do before we went on to our lips is I want to go back into the eyeshadow palette and the color that we used for the inner corner so that was the pudgy I think I want to do on my brow bone so I'm just going to take a little bit and I just want to go there just thought add a little bit more bling a bling bling there we go oh, all shiny I love it okay Last up, we're going to play with lipstick. So again, we have the beautiful red shade here. And this one's really, oh, I'll see what it looks like on the lips, but it's a nice one. I think that would be a, a good universal red, I think. And then we do have the lip liner here. So let's start with that. Yeah, this one's nice. It's not too hard, not too emollient. It's kind of nicely in the middle. Alrighty, so that is our lip liner. And then let's go with this. And again, it has the beautiful hearts on there and then the beat for Betty on there. And we'll lower it down because we don't want to break the bullet. Because I've been known to do that. I thought I'd do more of a 1930s lip, but just not do it as pucker, just a little bit. And then do we got it even there? I do like the feel of this lipstick a lot. It's very nice. It's matte, but it isn't, doesn't feel dry. It feels really nice. So there we go. There is our look. So I thought we can go over the prod products as I pack them away back into their beautiful box. Okay, so refresher, and that is our beautiful PR box. And then we can go over everything as I try and pack this stuff all away. Oh yeah, and we didn't use the lashes, so I guess this will be one of the first things we will do then. So. So I want to save them for going going out somewhere nice, I think. Maybe I can recreate some of this look, this hair, and then use these beautiful lashes. So we have the lashes. And then of course we have the beautiful mirror. So we will stick that back in her box. So back in her beautiful home. So then for the lipstick and liner, they go in their absolutely stunning box. I really like this. I'm enjoying it. We'll see how long it lasts. 
doesn't quite go with the pink eye, but that's okay. I'm still digging this. And that was our only shade in here. But that goes in there. And then we have our lip pencil here with Betty on there. There they are back in their beautiful home. The mascara. So we'll just have to see how it lasts, if there's any, you know, smudging or flaking or anything, but so far it's going on really nice. Again, if I would have had way thicker lashes, it'd be easy, more easier for you to show, but so far I'm thinking it's given me a look of like I have some. And then we've got our beautiful blush duo. I am really, really happy with this. It is so beautiful, look at that. It is great, so let's just pop this back in here. And then there we go, our beautiful blush packaging. And then last, but definitely not least, is our beautiful Boop Doop A Doop palette. And there we go with this beautiful color story. If I can get it to, there we go. There we go. So that way you can see what it actually really looks like, I hope. We'll see when it's editing, but right now it looks perfect. And then it can go into this beautiful TV box. So there we go. You can watch some Betty, Betty Boop cartoons. I do have them all on DVD. And finally, there we go. There is our beautiful PR box with everything together. So um, the only thing I wish, um, there was highlighter in there. I think that would have been great, but I'm very happy to play again with my ghost place. So it's not like um, we had to have one. But uh, so there we go. There is our Clam Light Betty Boop unboxing and play with the items in this box. So what do you think? Let me know. Did you purchase this? Is this on your list? Are you waiting for restocks or anything like that? I know the whole PR kit was, I think, still online when I looked. And uh, yeah, so anyways, that's it for me today. If you like this video, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe, maybe even hit that notification bell. If not, that's okay. We can still be friends. We can still play with all the glamour that is Betty Boop together. As always, behave, make good choices, and we'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye.